Welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. You join us in the university. I'm still wearing my silly hat. And there's Wilhelm and Katerina and Cosmos. Right, as you'll probably remember from last time, we're off on a mission to Garanol's Haven. Garanol is a Cappadocian. And Katerina describes him as our ally. Why on earth would we be attacking him? Well, all will be made clear. So I'm just going to share out the blood. Now, instead of healing salves and all that nonsense, um, we use blood things because we're now vampires. So we've got rats that give a small amount of blood, blood uh, bottles that give a larger amount. And all of this is useless and that. So the first stop we're going to make is to the golden lane Ekaterina is a scholar oh turn subtitles on as well she would keep a fledgling studying vampire lore in her nest till Gehenna comes and never hurl them from the nest to test their wings but I cannot spend hours debating canite wisdom in a university give me a stout broadsword in my hand and the sweet taste of my foe's blood on my tongue and I have all the wisdom I need. And I suspect thou art akin to me. I am not akin to thee, Blood Guzzler. I strike only those that deserve my steel. I do not murder the innocents to gorge on their blood. Thou shalt feed upon blood or thou shalt die. But thou need not kill to do so. Drink only so much blood as will sustain thee. Suffer thy prey to live on. For to kill during the feeding is to violate our Promethean ethic. And that way lies the beast. The beast? A beast born of Cain's sin doth coil within thy breast, Christoph. Keep it at bay or be lost forever. Acts of cruelty unleash that beast until it rules thee, as it rules many of Azra's kin. The beast made them madmen? Nay, the mad vampires are called Malkavian. Shouldst thou meet one, God help thee. Shouldst thou need his assistance, God cannot help thee. Nay, the beast is not mere madness, but demonic possession by the curse of Cain. We Prometheans are wayfarers in the land of the beast, but we stray not from the road of humanity, the Via Humanitas. By our acts of compassion are we saved from the jaws of the beast. Remember this always, or be devoured from within. Nothing like a pre-mission pet talk. Thank you for that, Wilhelm. So. Thou hast life everlasting, so long as thou keepest thy pallid flesh hidden from the sun's hateful rays. The life-giving sun only brings death to the likes of us. Each day we must retreat to our haven in the chambers below the university. Yes, otherwise we become crispified. Uh, right, so we don't go that way. So now we can actually attack the townsfolk, all of them. We can also feed on them as well. So C, uh, is it P? No, hang on. That one. So we've got some healing stuff, uh, powers, and things like that. Gift of the blood. Uh, we'll just equip everything for now. Pardon me, and he's got his. Um, no, right, D. If you check to offensive stance, whichever character member you're not controlling will instantly attack anything. That includes um, NPCs. He hath taken me. He hath taken the best of me and left. Nothing but a shell. Oh dear. In his home of bones. In his halls of skin. Behind his walls of flesh. He hath taken all I had. What a sad story. We can go to this road mountain. Are you sure? No, I didn't think we could. 
Um, right, so we want to be going to Golden Lane and also to Petron Hill Monastery, where we went before. We could also do with paying a trip to the blacksmith, just to sell those swords and whatnot. Couple more rats, never go amiss. Lovely, should be another two round this corner as well. Lovely. Thank you, rats, for your sustenance. Here we go. Good day to you, young sir. So sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that. Do you buy these? No, you do not. Right, so eight hundred. Goodbye, Netga. Oh no, we can't. Six two six. Hmm. Do we sell that or keep it? I think keep. No, sell the bow and arrow. Um. Could do with some arm for Wilhelm. All right, what have we got? What have we got? So, ooh, that's all very fancy stuff. Can't buy any of that yet, though. So we've got gloves of Numix. We'll keep it basic for now. Let's give Wilhelm a silly hat. And I will buy, if I can, Ah, no, I thought there would be some, like, leather armour or something. Oh, there is. Never mind, we'll um, have a silly hat. It's the Silly Hat Brigade. Strengthens as thou weaken from lack of blood. Canst thou feel him uncoiling in thy heart? Thou must feed. Feed or die, Kristoff, for I shall kill thee before I let the beast claim thee. So to feed, F quick selects feeding, and then we left right uh, sorry, right click on this guy. And you can see his blood meter going down. Kinda wanna stop him. Oh, automatically stops, but yeah. Only what thou needs, Christoph. No more. Behold, his wound vanishes. Monsieur shouldn't drink so much wine, eh, Christoph? Do not worry. He'll wake up and know nothing of what has happened. Most mortals find great pleasure in the dark kiss. Ekaterina tells us that in Carthage, the mortals happily submitted to it. Good. Good, good. Yeah, so if you drain them too much, they obviously die. Um, and when you do that, you lose some of your human. Well, you lose humanity for killing innocents. To dark acts. How easily could I bring devastation on all who vex me? Thy fear and thy power conspire to make of thee a beast. Seek thee an anchor for thy humanity, a rock to cling to when storms come. Banesca. Love for a mortal is the most dangerous of all anchors. I must see it. That is most unwise. The cheerful world of daylight is lost to thee. Oh. I must see her again, just to look upon her for a moment. Ekaterina would not be pleased. Oh, very well. Shouldst thou display valor on our mission this night, I shall take thee to the convent, but only for a moment to glimpse her as she sleeps. Now come, our mission lies ahead. That's not creepy at all. Right, quick trip to Unorna. Whoa, bollocks. Right, I accidentally clicked on a townsperson. Um. <laughs> Hello, young one. What is it you... But, oh, you do look so dainty. Oh, 
they have hurt you. The canines have taken me for their own. Oh, my poor boy. But fear not. Unorna neither fears ye nor casts ye out. I'll help ye. If I can. Thank you, Hag. Alright, so these are worth quite a bit, which is good news for us. Um... What's this thing? Holy Cross. So that gives us a bit to work with. Ooh, I could buy a familiar cat. So does that follow us around? It costs 500, so I'm kind of reluctant to buy one. Um, I wouldn't mind buying... What's that? Whoa! 900 fire damage. That's fairly powerful. They're quite useful as well. I'll leave it for now. Um, because... Good, they're not attacking anymore. That's good, good, good. Right. Yeah, I don't want to spend too much money at this point. Um, it's not really a lot. We'll save up something better. So, speak to... Behold Petron Hill Wilhelm. Monastery. Haven of the Cappadocian vampires in Prague. The monks are vampires? Nay, the Cappadocians lurk in the desecrated crypts below the monastery, out of sight of the monks who provide them with fresh blood. Only those monks that serve Garanol know the real master of the monastery. The hunger is upon me and I must feed. Okay. We can feed on these monks. Um, as long as we don't kill them. We'll be okay, and that's a good way to sort of make sure that we're at full health before we head down to the catacombs. Catacombs. So it's roughly about there. So we don't want to kill anyone. And a few feed as well. Come here, you. Okay, that'll do. So we'll go around the corner and into the monastery. What is our mission? A mission of misfortune. Wise and noble Garanol is friend and ally to Ekaterina. I take no pleasure in storming his home, but Ekaterina has divined that the Cappadocians have stolen from her. We seek to retrieve a precious fragment of the Book of Nod, the wisdom of the ancient Canaanites. Why would Garanol steal from her? We know not. Until we learn all, we cannot let them know we serve a Katarina. So they are allies. Um, something weird's gone down. And it looks so... They've nicked a page out of a book that we own. So we're off to get it back. Hang on a minute. Human only. That must have remained on me because, yeah, I shouldn't really be able to use that. I bet if I take that off, it won't let me put it back on again. All right. Um, 
What is our mission? Probably best off using more blood skills. I was about to say I don't want to use too many blood powers. Um, because I don't really want to waste blood. But, probably going to have to. Uh, so that's portents and celerity. Which might be a good idea to use. Alright. Go aggressive. Okay, that's good. Cool. Right, I remember the bean armor here. Excellent. I'll take that. Thank you. Well, um, you can have that. And it's changed the way we look slightly. Excellent. The Cappadocians are a strange clan, Christoph. They seek to understand death and the secrets of the grave. Prepare thyself. Their halls are guarded by the walking dead. Hmm. The stench of death taints this holy place. It is fitting for the clan of death. Isn't it just... Oh, bloody hell. Right, that's much better. I don't know what was happening before. I guess because I didn't set him to aggressive stance, maybe he wasn't attacking properly. I don't know. Come on. Tombu. Right. Brilliant. That went well. It's in the chest. Scythe. Any good? It's not bad. In fact, uh, it's, about, it's not very good speed. I was going to say it's about half the speed, but it's not. Kicking ass and taking names. Let's see if we can feed on him. Ow! Bloody skeleton. What's that? Rapier. And that is Flamberge does more damage than what I currently have so we'll use that nice right come here let's give some of these rats to Wilhelm the one issue that I always had with um, the vanilla game was that NPCs go through blood like Nobody's business. Um, what is this? Right click turn on ammo stacking. I don't know what that means. Um, oh, scimitar. Two scimitars. Not really of much use to me, but we'll keep them for the selling. Right. Check out this picture. Behold, the mural depicts Cain as God's favored son. Every child knows that Cain's sacrifice of grain vexed the Lord, and Abel's sacrifice of the blood of a lamb satisfied the Lord. But mysterious old Cainites tell us that the Lord craved blood and reveled in Cain's second sacrifice, the blood of his brother Abel. The Lord raised up Cain over the other sons of Adam. He freed him from plowing the earth for food and set a mark on him that he live forever. Garanol devoutly believes this Cainite heresy, which holds that the curse of Cain is truly a blessing. And thou, dost thou believe the Cainite heresy? If I am favored of the Lord, the angels have not seen fit to tell me of it. No, but they gave you a funny hat, so revel in that.
Nice. Die in agony. Die in agony. Right. And this is all going rather well. You, my friend, can have that. Because you don't have any gloves yet. Uh, I'll take that. And that. Anything else? Ooh. Another fine broadsword. We'll drop that scythe because I doubt that's worth very much anyway. Another scroll of awaken. Uh, they're very useful for bringing you back to life after you've been knocked into torpor. Which is basically the death state. Vampires are in torpor are basically stunned. Um, what? Why did I not pull that thing? Uh, I guess I did not. Down we go. Fortitude up a bit. Oops, I used two at once then. Oh, sorry. Is that everything? Yes. Back we go. Oh, no, it's not. There's always one more thing. Rubies. Very good for the selling. If we go down again. Thou dost fight thy allies with great zeal, Wilhelm. I take no pleasure in it. I just do what must be done. The only one I will not fight is Garanoff, the leader of the Cappadocians. I chose to strike this knight because Garanoff and his assistant Serena have an audience with the Knight Prince of Prague, Rulof Brandon, and will not be here. You crafty devil. Find rapier. And get rid of the normal one. So fine one. Actually, we probably don't need to get rid of anything. Okay, should be a chest somewhere around here. Drain enemies dry um, through feeding. You don't lose any humanity. So it's a pretty good way to kill things if you end up. Oh! I guess I drank uh, some bad blood. I was about to say, it's a great way of getting rid of enemies. You don't want to fight them. That's unpleasant. Hand axe. No. Oh, I guess sick from the blood. Oh god, how long is he going to be doing that for? Shh, shh, shh. 
So Wilhelm's used all his blood. Right, okay, we've stopped being sick. That's good. <laughs> that was disgusting. Skellington News. Ooh, we leveled up. Christoph. Right. More dark worship. Is there no end to the vampiric taste for blasphemy? Geralt celebrates the transfiguration of death, but I do not share his fondness for the grave. I have died once to become a Canaanite and do not seek to die again. Yeah, so they have this ritual where they bury um, their neophytes or fledgling vampires um, and make them... Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah. That's really annoying. Alright, let's try that again. More Right. As I was saying, uh, the Cappadocians bury their newly embraced vampires um, and then make them claw their way out of the sand or soil or whatever it is. What killed me? I guess it was the Greatsword Skellington. Oh, that's got fire arrows. Yeah, it was the Greatsword Skellington. Okay. Actually, it was both of them. Ooh. Get in. What are you doing? More. Yes. Right. Let's try. I don't know what Kristoff just did, but it probably wasn't good. No, it wasn't good. Uh, I can use the scroll of a the scroll of awaken on Wilhelm. Oh God. That's proving quite tricky. More dark. <laughs> right, let's approach this a bit more tactically. Oi. Attend me. They just, just killed it. Why was that so much more difficult last time then? Uh, do not understand. But keep that.
That's that. Uh... Ah! Ah! <laughs> and disciplines were diluted from torpor. Were they? They don't look diluted, they look normal. Anyway. Padded clothing, do not naturally, yes. I will take that because we've got somebody else to look out for fairly soon. Not to give too much away. <clears throat> Alright, you've got hardly any blood left, so you might as well have them. And um, have a scroll of awaken. Because I can guarantee you that's not the last time I'm going to come across a situation that's going to have us dying. Don't walk on that. <clears throat> hey, she's got a crow on her shoulder. I guess that's what the familiars do then, they just sit on you, or walk by you, or do something. So the cat, I guess, follows you around, crawls, sits on your shoulder. Interesting. Beautiful. And that. I'll have that. Spirit's Touch is kind of scroll of identify sort of thing. What's that? Rapier. Fine rapier. I'll uh, get rid of that. Fine weaponry will sell for more. So we're all about the fine weapons. Hey, look, there's another skull cap. Again, we'll take that because. Uh, drop one then. Stay here. Let them come to us. Good oh. oh, they're just zombies, that's fine. That's skeleton. It's a bow and arrow, must die. Defend me. Do not go running off after that skeleton, please. Thank you. Come here, you. What was that? Oh, it's still attacking us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right, we'll go this this way first. An earthen floor blankets this room. Aye, the Cappadocians do bury their newly embraced in a ritual of death. There you go. Come to me. To the abyss with me. Come on. Tend me. Don't go running off. Take some of them disease vaccines. Oh, I oh. To the abyss 
That's fine, you keep doing that because you're going through your blood at a rate of knots again. What's that? Intelligence increased. What have you got that increases your intelligence? Uh, interesting. Um, let's grab some more stuff. What's that? Yes, please. Money, money. Is that a special mace? No, oh, just a spiked mace. Any good weaponry? Nope. Right, back we go. So that's now open. Wait, no, that was already open. It's that we need to go through at some point, but we'll do this first. Right, you run off. Bloody cowards. Stand and fight. these bottles of Vitae and oh, bloody hell. I've not very much inventory space left. Give those both to Wilhelm. Keep calling him Wilhelm. It's Wilhelm. H-E-M. Nice gold ring. Anything to press in here? Nope, nothing. Right. We leave. Might have to drop some of this. That goes down to Monastery 3. There is another thing. Oh, there we go. I could have sworn there was a way through there. Oh, no, it's through there. Ha ha. Right, I'm pretty sure... The thing that's through here fire fireballs? Or is there some trap that fires fireballs? Let's find out. Pretty sure there is a trap of some description. I don't know, maybe not. All's well. There's an Elder Femur, which I think is a weapon. Um, let's get rid of that broadsword. Use that. Yeah, it is. It's a weapon. Um, let's see how good this is, actually, because I don't think I've ever used it before. Walk the Abyss takes us back to the University Haven. Where we could level up if we wanted to. In fact, that's not a bad idea. Uh, 
So this is the University Haven, below the uni in Prague. And down here is where we walk a vampire. And where we can also use this ankh symbol to say, ooh, revive fallen party members. Uh, that's expressed. So we can level up here. Um, increase our skills. Uh, da, 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 da. I will increase that. That and that. I'll put five more in... Fine. Stamina and strength seem like a wise choice. Okay. Um, he has... Uh, what's it called? Protean, which is... Uh, the beast shape stuff. So we can transform into a wolf with that. Which is useful, I suppose. Good strength. Let's give him some more stamina, which I think is for hit points. Uh, or just general toughness against being beaten around. Uh, blood strength as well, probably a good idea. That'll do. I think one of these is Awaken as well. Um, once you've spent enough points in each. So instead of having to rely on scrolls of awaken, you can just kind of use uh, your spells, which is always handy, especially when you run out of money and there's no shops nearby. Right, so we'll do a quick save and back to it. So we're going to try using this theme of an elder Sinitsi. And head down to monastery level three. Uh, what is the wait? No, what are you doing? No, 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 no. Stand thy ground. Doesn't seem to be doing a great deal of damage. Yeah, I think that's one. 40 is halberd. Yep. Yeah. So I need to buff up my strength. I'm just going to use the bloody sword, to be honest. Seems utterly useless. Uh... So that's where we want to be going, but it's locked. In fact, if I click on it, So we need to find a way through there. Let's go through here first. Where was the fire trap? My brain's telling me there's a fire trap in here somewhere that I've missed. And I'm going to end up walking straight into it. It's, it's in this room, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, knew it. Anyway, kind of avoided it a little bit. Put the ring on. Is that scroll of Awaken? Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. Right, we'll go upstairs and grab what we need from up there. Okay, you're doing all right. Let's get up there. Come on then. Oh. Hmm. Ah. Another skeleton with a great sword over there. Oh, and there's one over here as well. Oh. 
Okay. I'm just very cautious around things with great swords now, because I know how. No, I wanted that open, didn't I? Yes, I did. Yeah, because I know how powerful they are, or apparently are. Let's see if we can take this one down without dying. Crunchy, crunchy rats. Ow. Thank you, Wilhelm. Scimitar. Is that a great sword? It is. What's that then? That's a claymore. That's technically better, but requires 10 more strength. Did we come from that way? Yes, we did. So we need to go through... Hang on a minute, what? Have I just got lost? Or is my brain not working properly? I think the latter is probably true, my brain's not working properly. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Another level. Who is that? Wilhelm. Wilhelm Striker. I think we can go down here as well, and that takes us back to the same place. Yes, it does. So we don't want to go that way. Anything down this side? Nope. Down that side? Yep. Right. At the top of these stairs, there is a key that we need. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, God. Get him. Get him. Oh, God. Get him. Why? Why are you not attacking properly? Oh, God. Oh, my God. <sighs> I am weak. Yes, you are weak. Right, well, now at least we know that's up there. I don't know what it is. Whenever I try and attack from a distance with Wilhelm, he always just seems to stand massively out of range. Let's just run and get that. My mind is troubled, Shut up. attacked by nothing all right let's deal with that bloody arrow arrow archer skeleton archer that's the words i was looking for it's not even that late my brain's just absolutely stopped working for some reason
Right. Let's use celerity. Important. I am weak with lack of precious Bottle of Vita. And let's go for it. Let's go straight for the archer. There we go. Problem solved. Wasn't that easy? A key. A key in the form of a finger bone. Mm -hmm. That's what we needed. Bit of gold. Fine flamberge. Get that rank. Back down the stairs and kill the rest of the stuff. There is still that skeleton with the Ooh, what's that? A bastard sword. We'll take that. And get rid of you. Oh god no. Oh god no. Okay, so we dealt with everything. Uh, we've got some limited resources going on because we used quite a lot uh, in terms of blood powers. Still got quite a few scrolls of Awaken, so that should be okay. Got some good heavy weaponry as well as this incendiary shortbow that we found as well. One ammo for it at the moment. I might save that for the final boss. Which, to be honest with you, if the difficulty curve in this game compared to the vanilla is anything to go by, it should be pretty hard. Get back here, you. I do withdraw. Follow my lead. Oh yeah, that spell I used on him that made the little circle around him is called Awe. And uh, that makes them susceptible to being fed upon. Always useful. And splat. Not very accurate, are you? What are you doing? You giant ass! Right, let's get everything we need from around here. We need that thing. Skull of the Lamia. I think that barrel might be an explosive one, so I'm going to leave it alone. That I cannot afford to leave alone. Bet you've used yours. Nope. Alright, fine. Stand thy ground. Neutral. Ooh, shield. Yes, please. I'll be useful for the uh, newbie. My newest child, Mercurio, hath proved a tainted blessing. Though he is ambitious and untrustworthy, he has added much to the protection of this house. He drinks the power of death with an unquenchable thirst, and could become the greatest student of the grave. But he hath little respect for our ancient alliances with the other Cainite, and could reawaken old feuds. The ungrateful puppy even seeks to seal his crypt from me. Does he not know that I can crack his sealed crypt at any time with my anointed skull of the Lamia? Alas, but I do require Mercurio's aid until such time as I can fathom the secrets of the Golem and gain its protection. I would that I had the lore of Rabbi Mordecai ben Judah to aid my experiments, but as I lack the wisdom of the Kabbalists, I would deal with the devil himself in these parlous times. If Mercurio is charged with the protection of this haven, I wonder that we have not yet faced him. I would have words with this Mercurio. Venerable Garanel should not have to rely upon an untrustworthy child. Indeed. What beast once wore this skull upon its neck? Uh, ah. Ooh, that's... That looks like holy leather armor. 
Damn. I say damn because I'm assuming that means we can't use it. So we've got the Skull of the Lamia. And we just head back down to Mercurio's door, which was this way, I believe. We're both at full health. Seems like as good a time as any to give it a quick save. And then through to fight what's his face. What? How comes out here? Oh, that's different. And the great Mercurio that weapon he had a quarter staff like in the in base game. Kin, base game vanilla game. Defense of thy theft. Thou art a clot pole of a coward. A clot pole. <laughs> My work is too important. Work thou hast interrupted. I shall crack open the tree of life and uncover all the secrets of death and life. I shall tell thee the secret of death and life. Give us the knot fragment and we shall let thee live. I shall tell thee the secret of death and life. Give us the knot fragment and we shall let thee live. Nay. Thou wilt tell Garanol of my theft. Tis better I bury thee in a secret grave, with stakes of oak piercing thy heart, and a wraithworm shall hollow out thy noble brows and robust cheeks. Guess that's a no then. Right, we need to kill him quickly because, if I remember correctly, yes, he uses some god awful spells. Ah, God. Right. Uh, why have we got the inventory open? Just kill him. There we go. That wasn't too bad. A battle axe, eh? Um, treasure chest. Don't need the extra skull cap. Thank you very much. Uh, and the book of dawn fragments. The signs of Gehenna, Canto Four. So too. Our grandsires will rise from the ground. They will break their fast on the first part of us. They will consume us whole. What means this dire report? This is a great secret known to a few wise vampires. The Book of Nod tells us that the 13 ancient founders of the vampire clans will one day rise from their age-old sleep. When these antediluvians emerge from torpor, they shall fall upon us, their descendants, and gorge their unholy thirst upon our blood. The day they rise is called Gehenna, or the Winnowing, and it signals the end of all that is. We know not how to prevent it, but even now Ekaterina searches for a way. Why didst thou not tell me of this? With such evil barking at our heels, we must hasten our work. Forgive us. Most young Canites are not ready to hear it. They mistrust their sire, and that we cannot have. I think Kristoff already mistrusts Ekaterina. I don't think you could make him mistrust her much more. Uh, let's read this. The reeky, fat, fouling old Potok. Potok. He fears that I seek to betray him, but he shall not know with a certainty until the last of his sludge blood oozes from his Pusslin corpse. Uh. Magapai needeth my power in defense of his withered haven and shall overlook my indiscretion. <laughs> so I must keep his mewling household in a frenzy, defending themselves from a grieved villain. I shall steal from the beslubbering Bruja to draw their wrath upon him. However, should his crusty majesty plumb the secrets of the Gorlon? shall need me no longer. So, 
I shall pollute the rabbi's gall-faced golem with grave rot, making it useless to him. Then shall I drink the old leper's blood before the moon hath fully waned. Garanal's search for wisdom has not trespassed into our haven. Twas his false servant, Mercurius. We were fortunate to find the fragment before another clan could learn of it. Others might not have spared Garanal in the search. Okay, so it wasn't Garanal that stole after all. Good old Gary. Um, it was his child, Mercurio. So we can leave this place now. Ooh, what's that? Ooh! Ooh, piece of candy. Mm, I have absolutely no use for this, but... See, that's kind of annoying as well, because they don't come identified, and I can't use them, so I need a scroll of Spirit's Touch or some sort of spell of Spirit's Touch to be able to know what it is to sell it for its full true value. Right, back the way we came. And then off to see Anezka. To glimpse her as she sleeps in the non creepy fashion that I do. Maybe a quick feed on the monks on the way out. Oh, what's that? A fine claymore. Yes, please. Are they both fine as well? They are. And we got some pretty good weapons out of that. Um, bit of a mad scramble at the end there. That wasn't the most elegant boss battle I've ever fought. Uh, and we did end up losing quite a bit in the way of blood. And also having to reload quite a lot as well. But them's the brakes. There's a couple of monks up here to feed on them. You in there. Oh. Blood distinction, saintly. Oh, I killed him. Damn. You see, my humanity's dropped a little bit. Don't want to be doing too much of that, because the lower your humanity rating, the easier it is for your character to frenzy. Um... Symbolising how close your character is to the beast. Right, that'll do. Don't want you losing humanity as well. So what is, what is your humanity? You're on 70. 65. 65 is good enough. Alright. We must hurry. Dawn approaches. The sun is a destroyer now, Christoph. Oh, God, Wilhelm. During the day, thou must find a place to rest where no sunlight can enter. Let us return to the university where Katarina shall surely celebrate our triumph. Oh, I cannot share thy pleasure under such a deed. Come now, before thy embrace, did thou <laughs> not slay evil creatures? Behold, thy mission survives even thy death. That is scant solace for the loss of my soul. Thou dost brood too much upon events thou cannot change, Christoph. Seek consolation in our Promethean mission. Bury thy woe in the blood-drenched soil of battle. I have found that the fury of war weaves enchantments that soothe even the most troubled heart. Kindred and kind alike. I well know the seduction of warfare. Then thou knowest the joy of cutting a bloody swath through thy foemen. The only joy I felt was in doing the work of heaven as a soldier of God. I have done nothing to warrant this fallen state. How can God allow men to become demons? How can God snatch away the promise of salvation? God allows the innocent child on the battlefield to cry and does nothing. So why should God prevent the misery of a killer like unto thee? I, I 
do not know. I have not considered these things. Come, I have promised thee a trip to the convent, but make haste. Dawn comes quickly. Okay, let's get you out of here before you attack any more bloody monks. Look at my silly hat. Oh, I took it off. Thou art accursed if Kristoff be thy love. Nay, do not go, my lord. Let me look upon thee. Good my lord, forgive me. I was filled with fright to behold thee. Thy comely face is now sicklied over with a pale cast, and I scarcely recognized thee. Forgive me. Thou hast been gone so long, we feared for thy life. Thou feared a right, for I am dead to the world, and my soul is lost. Do I behold a ghost? Nay, I touch thy arm, and I know thou art flesh and blood. Not flesh, only blood. My lord, thy words do fill my heart with fear, and I tremble. Good my lord. Good my lord. Why, why dost thou wear such a silly hat? Me? My mind is filled with thoughts of such base villainy. My hunger for thee is stronger now than when my heart did pump its own warm blood. I know not what misfortune weighs so heavily upon thy soul, or has driven the rosy warmth from thy cheek. But the heavenly powers can banish all such darkness. Should they banish this darkness, they would banish all that is left of me. Say not so. My lord, I know thy heart, and thy soul is pure. My heart? My soul? Thy words torment me with remembrance of all that I have lost. I was a fool to have come here. I must never return to a house of God. Nay. I pray thee stay, my honored lord, thy soul is in peril. My honored lady, my soul is lost, my cause is doomed, and I am damned. I go, I will not look upon thee again. Then I pray thee, my lord, receive this token of me. Tis but a small amulet of St. Jude. Thou didst give it me. And it hath soothed the pangs of mine own heart that began when first I beheld thee. And a desperate, hopeless love did grow in my breast. Mayhap it will be some consolation to thy doomed cause. Art thou deaf, woman? My cause is lost! <laughs> Therefore do I offer thee the amulet of Jude, patron saint of lost causes. Oh. <laughs> oh. Thou sweet heavens, guide him. And we're back in Prague. So we've got some stuff we can sell on. I'll go and do that now. Uh I suppose we can sell those rubies and whatnot as well. Being very careful not to attack the town's folk as I pass by. Hello. Good day to you, young sir. Right, we'll sell those. It's only worth forty-six. Actually. Really should be Good day to you. Wilhelm that's selling these because I think he's got higher appearance. Yeah, so his Good day to you, young selling skills will be higher and the amount gained will be more. I remember rightly. I don't know if that's right or not, but right. We could buy him some leather armour. Actually, studded leather armour, because I think that's the best we can get. So he can buy it for 724. Oh, it's the same. So buy one of them for yourself. Buy one of them for you. You can sell that. Sell that as well. 
studded. Okay. Buy yourself some leather gloves or some gauntlets, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Uh. Yeah, go on then. A couple of pairs of gauntlets. You can sell that. Can sell that. You can sell them. No, keep them. Uh, do you have any arrows for sale? Mm. I might buy some of them. It's 20 and we can use them with that. That makes sense to me anyway. Right, cool. Um, you wear that. That is good. You wear them and that. That is so good. And keep them for what's the face? You can have that. And a couple of them. I'll take those. And that's it. Right, brilliant. So we just need to quickly nip to the witch. And sell some more stuff on. Oh, we should have saved some money for some scrolls of spirits touch. Oh no, we've probably got enough if we sell the um, the elder Samitsi Fema. A comely young sister did come to me from the convent. A clever lass she was, and more valorous than many a young warrior. She bade me give thee this letter. Ah. Oh. What does it say? My dearest Christoph, I have spoken to the old gypsy, a woman of great lore and learning. She hath told me much of the way of the Canites. She has heard that the soul is not truly lost after the horrid blood ceremony. There is hope even in unlife. The elder Canites know of the secret, and thou too may learn of it. I live for thy redemption. Thine in faith, Aneska. Beautiful. Welcome, child. Hello. Right, can sell that for a grand. Um, and we can't sell anything else because we haven't got that one. Right. Uh, where's the scrolls? So we need one, two, three. One, two, three. Right. This stuff better be worth something. Blessed leather armor. Evil axe. Well, I don't really want to use that because from the look of things, that means every time I use it, I have to pass a bloody frenzy check. Right, let's see how much this is all worth. Welcome, child. So that's worth 106, so that doesn't even pay for the cost of the scroll. Yeah, yeah, bye bye. And we'll sell the axe and the armor to the blacksmith. The axe should be worth quite a bit. Good day to you, young 
Wow. Well, that's human only, so we can't use that. And I don't want to use that because... Well, I just don't. Um, I could buy some more studded leather armour for the other person. That way they've got the best armour they can have and some gauntlets as well. And then at least we're all kitted out with the same stuff. Okay, guess that's it. Back to the university, I believe. stick all these letters and stuff in me oh no do that in a sec just gonna put them in my chest but that can wait eh? oh this is most excellent William our alliance with the Cappadocians shall strengthen when I reveal Mercurio's treachery to Garinol. Wilhelm, thou art a Bruja of surpassing splendor. Our grandsire Bruja himself would feel pride at this. In modesty, mistress, I could not have done it without Christoph's aid. He has done well. Christoph performed admirably, my sire. I believe he is ready to know of the oncoming struggle. What struggle is this? The Jihad. The great war of all the vampire clans. The Zemitsi against the Tremere, and us against both. The Tremere? The Tremere were once a house of mages, part of the Order of Hermes. They stole Cain's gift from an ancient of our kind, an antediluvian, one of Cain's grandchildren. They seek to infiltrate and control all the world. They couple the power of Cain with the ways of unspeakable magic. The fiends from the Carpathians, the Zemitsi, are fighting the Tremere, even as we speak. The Zemitsi have invaded the ancestral homelands of the Ventru, which puts us in a strange alliance with the very Ventru who destroyed our great city of Carthage. So, we unite with the Vampire Prince of Prague, the Ventru Rudolf Brandl, for now. Thou hast reason to hate the Ventru as well, Christoph. Thou fell in battle against the pagan barbarians because the Ventru made puppets of thy leaders. The Ventru sent thee into battle to stop their Tsimitsi enemies. Most of the barbarians were revenants, ghoul servitors of the Tsimitsi. Other clans maintain havens here in Prague. Thou hast met the Cappadocians. The Nosferatu lurk below the graveyard in the northern quarter. Most of King Otakar's family, the Premisil, are Tsimitsi ghouls. With the entrance of the Tremere into Prague, a struggle is bound to ensue, leaving the mortals greatly abused. We must avert this horror. Many in Prague have disappeared, including Bruja. We suspect they fell victim to the Zemitsi fiends or the usurping Tremere. We must stop the abductions. First, we must seek to undo the damage done by the traitorous Mercurio. Mistress, I wish to approach the Jewish quarter and warn the rabbi of Mercurio's meddling. If their golem had suffered the cowardly attack, it may not be able to protect the Jews from the Tsimitsi. We have no alliance with the Kabbalists in the Jewish quarter, and they have powerful charms of fate to wield against our kind. We have a duty to protect the mortals. Should we deliver unto them this news, mayhap the Jews will owe us a boon. But we have much to do first. In three nights' time, thou may deliver thy message. Take Kristoff with thee, but beware. The Kabbalists have no love for the likes of us. Three nights' time may be too late. Three nights' time may be too late. After one mission with Wilhelm, thou hast become very like him. So be it. Wilhelm, take Kristoff to the Jewish quarter this night and warn the rabbi. Thank you. Right, I'm going to stick... 
quite a bit in strength because I need to get my points up. Um, for wielding better weapons. You can already wield what you need to wield, so don't need to worry about that. Increase celerity so it doesn't cost as much. We will have that. Uh, and increase your wits and your perception. That'll do. Oh, have I learned protein as well? I have. Don't have any points in it though. Right, cool. Let's go to the Jewish quarter. Because it sounds so the Jews are in danger. Go to the Bond Mountains. Where's the Jewish quarter again? Is it this way? No, that's Visserod Castle that way. There it is. Oh dear. Something tells me they're all dead. Golem's gone mad, eh? Save us! Our own golem has gone mad! Can the rabbi control this brute? Yes, but the rabbi is dead. I am his son, Mendel. Tell me how to kill the golem, Mendel. The golem's life cometh from truth. Thou speakest riddles. The word truth hath been writ upon a scroll and placed within the brow of the creature. The Hebrew word for truth and the word for death are but a single letter apart. Destroy that one letter and the creature falls in death. The word truth hath been written. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're off to fight the golem. Which is over here. Makabar. If I remember correctly, this is a pretty tough fight. So probably have to use Let loose thy wrath to the abyss with thee. Out. To the abyss with thee. Out. Quite as tough as I remember it being. Guess because we've got some pretty good armor on at the moment. There we go. This is the cabalistic magic that quickened the golem. Um, can go this way, but there's no need to yet because that's down to see the Nosferatu. Let's go and speak to Mendel again. Demon is no more. The golem was no demon. It was, and we have sent it straight to hell. The golem was animated by the life force, and his spirit now returns to Abraham's bosom. What? Blaspheming sorcerer? This monster of clay has no soul. I am no sorcerer. I am a Kabbalist, and all life is from God. Every man, animal, and creature, even this golem, even vampires such as thee. Liar! Thou dost toy with my sanity! One such as I cannot be redeemed. I am an outcast from heaven. Not so. All life comes from one place, and to that place it must return. Why should God make such creatures? To vex mankind. They are all part of the kingdom of God, sent to test our faith as the devil did test the simple faith of Job. How has thy faith endured, Crusader? Not well, for God hath abandoned my soul. If 
question is not whether God hath abandoned thee, selfish boy. It's whether thou wilt abandon God and become a beast. I shall consider thy words. Nay, there is no magic in the Shem. It is merely letters. Letters which connect the golem to the true source of power. Nonetheless, the Cappadocians would be grateful to get such a thing. It would help them build golems for their own protection. The Shem is thine, with my blessing to do with as thou pleasest. Thank you. Uh, da -da -da -da. That'll do. Right. Back we go. And I think that's it for this particular evening in game. Uh, once we've wrapped it up, I'll probably call that a day for this video as well. Uh, I'll just see what else needs to be done. Whoa. Oh, God. Didn't want you to do that. Well, now at least we're both on the same page, humanity-wise. Keep forgetting this needs to be set to neutral in town. It's really bad, that. But hey. Uh, so what's my quest now? Oh yeah, back to Petra and Hill Monastery. Over the bridge. And then we meet our new recruit. So there's quite a bit to do um, in this sort of section of the game. We've still got the Tremere to meet, uh, Rudolf Brandl. And we also travel to Vienna. Uh, but for now... Hail Garanol of Clan Cappadocian, master of the art of death. Hail to thee, servant of the wise Ekaterina of Clan Bruger. Be most welcome. And hail to thee, good Christoph, who vanquished the fiend in the mines. I make no claim of vengeance against thee for the destruction of my haven. Instead, I offer my thanks to thee and to thy clan for bringing to light the treachery of my venomous child Mercurio. I present this to thee as a gift from Ekaterina the Wise, sire of the Bruja. Ah, yes. This should be of some use, some use indeed, to protect us from the disorder of these times. Tell your mistress I am grateful, and owe the noble Bruja a boon. We shall. I only wish this Shem had not been purchased at so dear a price. I mourn the bloodshed in the Jewish quarter by the wicked Mercurio, and do reproach myself for his misdeeds. The good rabbi now journeys into the land of the dead, where hides all knowledge, and I am to blame. Prithi tell Ekaterina that I wish to serve her Promethean task and strive with her to bind up our uncertain future. In partial payment of the boon I owe, I offer thee my prized child, Serena. She will aid thee in thy efforts. I pray that my service will be of value to thee. Okay. So you can have that, that, that. I shall depart. No. I come unto thee. Hmm? Do you know? There we go. Now you join the silly hat club as well. Look at us in our silly hats. <laughs> you've got a silly hat. You've got a silly hat. And you've got a silly hat. Excellent. I think now we just return to, yeah, to the hip. You've got your blood. What else have you got? Nothing. That's fine. Um, you can have one of them. Just in case. So off 
back to the university. And then I think there's a little bit with uh, Anezka. Or you have a dream of some description and then you have a sort of argument with Ekaterina about Anezka. I think it's been a long time since I played this game. But I can vaguely remember how things go. I understand thy sorrow, Kristoff. When Garanal embraced me, I was forced to leave behind all I loved in the mortal world. The loss of it still weighs upon my heart and drags me to despair. I offer thee any comfort I may give in thy grief. I thank thee, but I do not surrender my hope of reunion with Ineska, even though I am beyond all hope. Then thy Ineska is fortunate indeed, though such barren hope might breed only more sorrow. Oh, how darkly goth. Right. Let's have a snooze. Oh, actually, put these in here. Uh, and that as well. So particularly need to be carrying that about. And that'll do. I am not surprised the little nun is missing. She is reckless. Dost thou know of her? No. Yes. We shall lie to thee no longer. Anezka came hither in search of thee. The gift of sight blazed in her eyes, revealing unto her that we are children of Cain. And yet she had no fear of us. Where is she? We told her thou wert not among us, and she left. What? She insisted on leaving this letter for thee. As if she somehow knew we had lied to her. I give it thee. Dearest Kristoff, I have not seen thee since the night thou fled the convent, and I fear thou hast been swallowed by the creatures that rule the night. But dread shall not rule my heart. I am resolved to renounce my holy orders and walk the face of the earth until I unite with thee. And if thou turnest thy face from me, I shall search for such panacea as will restore thy soul and bring the rose to thy fair cheek again. Thou hast captured my heart, and I can do naught but seek thee and make us both whole. Though our cause be lost, yet shall we both be found. Thy immortal love, Anezka. Oh, isn't that sweet? Why didst thou not tell me? Indeed. Well, thou must leave her world behind. Thou hast doomed her. I could have persuaded her to stay in the safety of the convent. Nay, thou canst not control such as she. There was a mania that shone in her eye, a kind of madness. And yet her mind was sharp, as if her delirium had strengthened her mind rather than sapped it. In another time, I would have been moved to take such a one as my child. Nay, her soul must remain pure. We must find her and save her from the fiends. We must redeem her before my curse dooms her. But in my dream... The nun was not the only one missing. Many have been taken, mortal and vampire alike. We go in search of our bourgeois allies, but we'll rescue as many of the others as we can, including thy mortal nun. Therefore we are resolved to entreat Prince Rudolph Brandle for assistance, even though he is of Clan Ventru. To make amends for withholding this letter from thee, we go tonight. Come. We know of these disappearances. Little happens in Prague without our knowledge. 
How now? Hast thou discovered the culprit? We can direct thee aright. Should we feel so moved? I cannot imagine such a thing as can move thy lordship. Mm, we desire a reliquary containing the arm of St. George, which lieth in the antechamber of the Cathedral of St. Vitus. Alas, a ring of hallowed ground outside the cathedral doth repel the canine. The sanctified ground extends not into the cathedral, but we cannot cross the outer gates. Then how may we cross the sanctified ring to enter the cathedral? We tire of thee. Pray, do not return until thou hast the arm. Yes, my lord. Very well. We go. Nay. Nay, to withhold such knowledge is wicked. We seek to save many. Has the prince no pity, no humanity, that he only bestows his knowledge for a price? I warn thee, stripling. We have staked legends for a hundred years as punishment for little else than speaking in our presence. We allowed thy mistress to make thee, and we can unmake thee with a word. Pray forgive him. Christoph knows not. Silence. Because yon child Christoph did show bravery in the silver mine, and may yet be useful to us, he shall yet retain his freedom, but only if he henceforth silences his impertinent Bruja tongue. Sorry. Chris Chord. We tire of the. Well, we'll leave it there for now in the antechamber of the Prince of Prague and leave this for another time. Um, thank you very much for watching the second episode of this Vampire the Masquerade playthrough. I don't know why I'm doing this, never mind. Hey, silly hats! Ah!